This is the Mac Fitness Facility in Newburgh, New York. This is Lyle. He owns Mac Fitness. 13 years ago, I had, I had looked at a gym here in Kingston, my hometown. I had a great German Shepherd named Mac, so I decided to name the club Mac Fitness. And it just seemed to work. Originally, we called Mid Hudson Athletic Club, hence the acronym Mac. Mac is a really unique, diverse club. We have a little bit of everything for everybody. We've got a juice bar, smoothie bar, your cycling studio, your racquetball, we've got a yoga studio a dedicated women's only fitness center, which is pretty rare, tanning salon, indoor turf for functional training, indoor boxing and kickboxing studio. Our locker rooms are spacious. Mac Fitness is huge. It just needs more clients. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not happy with our training revenue. It should be twice what it is right now. We should have twice the number of clients based on our size membership club. Personal training is the way to do it. And who's doing the job that we need? This is Lyle and his wife, Holly. They co-own and run Mac Fitness. I had actually just joined just 10 years, 12 years ago. His trainer came in one day and said, I have the perfect person for you to meet, and that was Lyle. The perfect person, absolutely the perfect person. We've been flatlined here for so long. We have a lot of disagreements, mostly on staff. I, I would uh, like staff to be ruled a little, little more with an iron fist and Lyle coddles him a little too much. Lyle's going to disagree. I wouldn't use the word coddling. You know, I'm not coddling them. Can I, can I just catch you for a minute? Yeah, one second. Oh. Okay, make, sure just, you, make sure you get a couple more. I just want to finish both I got, I got all day. I got all day. Coddling has hurt a lot because they know they can get away with things with Lyle. Lyle's going to disagree again. Uh, can I disagree here? Can I disagree? Because I will. Sometimes they can be professional. I respect the fact that you put aside your egos. I respect the fact that you maintain professionalism. And other times, they can act like children. I want an outside perspective of my business from somebody who knows the business. This is Art. He's a veteran trainer and knows how to run large fitness facilities. Wild said, help me out, Art. So here I am, and I'm trying to get his trainers back where he can make some money. I've known Art for about 10 years. I've always known, admired that he was able to make a living, personal training in the city. You know, the doggy dog world, you know, the Northeast here. No one knows how old Art really is. 75. 85. What's your monthly gross for personal training? Well, I look at like client penetration. We're penetrating only about three to 4% of our overall membership. That's, right. not, that's not acceptable. What's the gross? I am 63 years old. I am 63 years young. He's an old dude that's in ridiculous shape, and I respect that because I'm an old dude too. He's seen all types of training that work, training that doesn't work, so I'm really about Art's gonna get results for us. I don't think knowledge is that important. All these trainers know how to train people, they just don't know how to keep the people, and I think that you gotta get them to work together. You have to. Huh, wonder what the trainers think. And there's a couple mm, relationships sometimes. Now, I'm not the type of person you really wanna rub the wrong way. I, I struggle with young trainers at times because they just, you know, what can they tell a 50-year-old man about his body? Some of them really don't know what they're doing. I would say I'm a pusher a little bit. I'm not yelling. I'm being nice about it. Once you're on her wrong side, you're done. I don't have a problem with the other trainers, except for Clayton. I gave this guy a client during my vacation, and that motherfucker stole it. Now, he's taking money away from me. He's like always hopping in, trying to take my stuff. If I'm working with a client, he's coming in, he's taking my equipment, he doesn't even ask. I don't think I can trust him. Hell no, I ain't trust him. I don't care. I'll take your clients from you if you're not doing a good job. If you get the trainers to work better, you'll make a lot more money. The Lyle and Holly aren't going to do it. Well, gross, gross is a, put that aside for a second. I want 10% of my members to be involved in personal training. Why? Because if they personal train, they never leave. I see there could be people that could get fired here. Uh, I think the majority of the trainers will make it, but um, they're going to have to work. If, if they don't participate in you know, what I'm doing, they're out of here. Motivation is very low. I think a lot of the trainers are just uh, concerned about looking good themselves instead of the clients. Listen, i got to talk to you for a second, man. All right, nice abs. Lyle's not going to fire him, but I will. If someone's looking for a really intense, big muscle workout, then I'm probably not the trainer for them. I really like to incorporate kickboxing and some, some more fun things, I guess. 
I'm a nurse. By getting into fitness, I have two aspects. I have a medical background, and now I have an actual in-the-gym background. Well, I've always been a competitive athlete in track growing up, All-American. I'm a competitive in the Spartan racing. And I just want to show what I've learned throughout the years to my clients. I also get to work out, keep the body looking good. And uh, sometimes my clients hit on me, so that's an added bonus. <laughs> I have an addiction to training. Part of my style is I go for old school stuff, the hardcore stuff we learned in the 50s and the 60s. To me, that still works. I became a trainer because of looking into somebody's eyes, seeing that they're passionate about making changes about their life. You know, there's nothing like that. Nothing like being able to push somebody and motivate somebody like that. I love working here, and that's something I see that everyone can do, can engage in. I grew up lifting, you know. I come, I come from a family where sports, are everything. I'm gonna get you the results no matter what you need me to be. Favorite people, types of people to train are athletes. Uh, I like to get them better and more competitive in sports. It kind of brings out my competitive nature. I like to see you evaluate each trainer and the level of their workout. I think all the trainers are pretty much okay with me right now. Uh-oh. Art, um, he's kind of like a pain in the ass sometimes. That new client, and yeah. wasn't that good, bro? That, she was doing Squats too low. You can't have him do that. She passed. She got two and a half out of three on the on the eval. Doesn't doing? matter, man. She was going too low on the squat. I told you guys when I first started here, do not have your clients doing full squats. I don't care what kind of shape they're in. He's like always in my ear. Just been in. It's like he thinks he knows best, but I'm like I've been in here. I kind of know what works. I can't let these trainers do what they want to do. They got to do it my way, and that's it. You know what? Art's Mr. Know It All. You know, and that. That only goes so far, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you know you know a lot, but that doesn't mean you know it all. If he can, you know, get me more clients and make me more money, I really don't care. Dude, you've getting everybody around here clients, man. That's bullshit. You haven't given me one. Dude, it's fucked up, bro. Because they deserve it. You, you haven't shown me anything to show me to deserve Dude, it, Dude, I'm man. one of the fittest guys here, man. I definitely deserve this. Okay, fitness this has nothing to do with it, okay? This is a fitness center. Yeah. Along comes uh, someone who likes to play hardball. But I like the challenge. Uh-huh. Pressure makes a diamond. How's it going? How's everything going here? It's okay. I've been having some issues with Danielle. I don't know if she has a problem with me, but every time that I walk into the room, she just gives me the dirtiest look. I've really? never done anything to her. Now, can you just uh, see, like, you know, why she's being such a bitch to me? I want to have a talk with her. I want to find out what's going on. <laughs> You know, look at her perspective too. Art's been giving us hell of a hard time. Coming up to us during training sessions talking about it. I could hear him talking about it behind our backs. Maybe she thinks that you're looking at TJ and he's kind of looking at you and there's something going on there, you know? I think for a female that might be the yeah, might be your problem. I don't know, like, you know. I have no interest in TJ. I mean, he's well, a good looking you know. guy, but... Right. I don't really care that you're dating TJ. I just want you doing your job. Mm -hmm. I just want you taking care of clients. I want them getting a great member experience. That's Absolutely. my goal. Look, I'm loyal to Lyle. I've done him for a long time. If the trainers can't hack it, they are out of here. I know Lyle can't fire him, but I will. You got a couple of pointers I can give you? Oh, you know, right. I would really appreciate that. Anything, you know? any advice you have for me, I would love to, I would if there's give any problems to you have, that. come to me and I'll help you out, I'll help you anytime. Oh, thank Seriously. you so much. All right. No, that'd be awesome. All right, great. I think it's gonna work out really good. I don't really like him. Get him! Ah!